statistics begins with the words, how unusual, and then you, you continue, how unusual is it that we saw this? I've been here at Oberlin College for 19 years now in a teaching role. I started off as a student here in 1981. Uh, I came in thinking I would do something in the conservatory or possibly do something in creative writing. Uh, I had always been good at mathematics, but at that time I didn't think it was really possible uh, to be creative in mathematics. But I just kept taking mathematics while I was a student here, and eventually I found a class that just resonated with me, and I, and I loved it. It was a class uh, in optimization, and uh, I ended up going to graduate school, um, and then ultimately returning here to teach. And I've specialized in this field, optimization. It's the branch of mathematics that deals with optimal performance, and what makes it both challenging and incredibly useful is that we all face difficult tasks routinely. Looking back, I've always been an optimizer. If I have a bunch of errands to run, in what order should I do those errands so that I end up with as much free time as possible? I began a love affair of sorts with the um, algorithms that are used to solve these problems, and I became obsessed, really, with trying to uh, find new and interesting applications uh, of the subject. I guess seven or eight years ago, I did my first example of using optimization to create pieces of visual artwork. And once I did that, I became completely hooked with that. It's, it's very important for me uh, in my artwork to have the art have some mathematical content. But looking at the work for five minutes, I think generally people can figure out what is going on. With this piece behind me, uh, the title of the piece is Not with a question mark. It's spelled K-N-O-T. It's based on a Celtic knot image. And if you focus on the black there, you see a black cord on a whitish background. And the black cord uh, is interlaced. If it were made out of cord, you couldn't unknot it. But if you take a look at this piece, you focus on the white line and you trace that around, you find that you can follow it all the way around to where you started, and that white line has never crossed itself. It's what mathematicians call a simple closed curve, a Jordan curve, which is topologically equivalent to uh, what we call the unknot, just a plain circle. So where did the knot go? That's, that's why it's titled knot with a question mark. The way this whole thing was constructed was using uh, optimization and in particular something called the traveling salesman problem. So I create an image that I'm interested in replicating. I need to convert that image into a collection of dots. It's called a stipple drawing. And then I take a step back and do sort of a mental shift and think of those dots as a collection of cities. I imagine that I'm a salesperson who lives in one of those cities. What route should I take to visit all those cities? That's a very well-known problem in optimization. So I draw a path through those dots, and that gives me the curve that you see there. Recently, I've been exploring using other media as well with the simple closed curves. In the last year, it was very satisfying for me to have someone who's viewed as a, a hardcore, serious optimization researcher. He invited me to create a series of TSP art uh, instances for traveling salesman problem researchers to work on as challenge problems. So right now, there's, uh, for about a year now, uh, researchers throughout the world have been working on what's called the Mona Lisa TSP challenge, done with 100,000 dots. If they succeed in finding a provably optimal tour, they will have set a record for the largest traveling salesman problem ever solved to optimality. And then you can print that as a picture of Mona Lisa. And then I could print it, yeah, yeah.